Hey, fam oh, God in the street. Be careful. Hey, family, how are you? We are in what they call this shit. Damn. I knew the name of it. It's the Marlin Fairbairn, Cross Creek County, something. So you can absolutely tell that we're from New York City and we ain't never been nowhere. Look, <laughs> they see a soldier, they wait. Look at my babies. I really got three big girls. Look at my baby. Hey, my dude. Come here. Y'all know today payday with me. So, Faith, we not doing that. So, I loaded my baby's debit cards and I told them, go. I, listen, I don't spend on me. I do a little bit. But I spend on them first. And that's on period. Uh, period. Uh, why are you punching my daughter in her butt, child? And watch out and listen for you make my daughter fall. Ah! None of that play horsing around there. Mama. I've been around Granny too long. Huh? Mama. Yeah, son. Cairo, you got your look. He got money. He got money. money as long as they pockets is full, mines could be empty. Feel me? You don't want it no more. Come on. Kaisha got the wagon. Her shit dragged. So today is Earth Day, and if y'all don't know, y'all know I'm a paperless mommy. I be doing my good deed and saving the earth. Feel me? I don't even take receipts. <laughs> period. Our period. Uh. Come on, Faithy. And then y'all could look, your sister's trying to leave you. The boys is so fascinated by seeing people in uniform because you know they don't see stuff like that. You have money, Faith. They do not want to be with her because they keep look at them all the way up there leaving my daughter. Where's the they doing their own thing? They don't want to be bothered. One thing about them, they're gonna spend all their money in one spot. Faith, your sisters is in Pandora. Put Cairo down if you want to go in Pandora with her. You let her, you let her get a second piercing. She got money. She said she wanted to. You want the second piercing? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Cairo. Oh, you want me to buy it for you? Yeah. Oh, oh, Cairo, where you got that card from? Me. Hold on. You want to get your piercing? You ready, Faith? You sure? He's coming. Hold on. What um team you want? What team you want? The ball or the high heat? Is that? Look at you. Look at that boy. <laughs> Look, you want to see it? <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Carter. Let me see. Yeah, Carter. Oh my God. All right, we're not even in the store yet. Took these kids to get candy. You eat an eyeball? Tastes good? I'm eating Which... an eyeball. Let me see. He got his ears pierced. Check him out. Kayla got her second piercing because of Kaisha. Yeah. You sent me my money for that? I sent you your money. No, I was looking at myself. I was trying to see if I was cute. Yeah. What all these phony pictures they keep putting up there? Yeah. So I told these boys to go to bed 50 times, but nobody wanted to listen. All right, scaring time. It's me, Grimace. We know you because your stomach. Oh. <laughs> So we had family game night and I decided to play Black Jeopardy. I went to the Dollar Tree and I got a board, some markers and some sticky notes. I let the kids write the different categories on the board and I took the sticky notes and I wrote the questions and I also wrote the numbers on it. We're going to play whoever has the most points at the end of the game. They get to pick between two different prizes. I am super excited. Let's go to green. All right, Alyssa. R&B songs 300. R&B songs 300. Alyssa, there was a show called Soul What? Soul yeah. Train. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Black Food for 300. Black Foods for 300. Uh, wait, we should be able to yell still. No, you, you that, that, that's not hot, Jeff. Yeah. What? This is easy. What is a BLT? The bacon, lettuce, and tomatoes. Good job. Yeah. You almost met that up there, girl. You was there. Who was the mother of Jesus? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Faith says she'll help you. Ask Faith. No. Jesus Christ? Yeah. Jesus Christ. No, who was, who was the mother of Jesus? Jesus. Oh, I was going to. Listen to Kaisha. Let's, let's see what she I tells know, you. I know. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no. No. Why are you so loud? Is it? Yeah, I don't know. Carter. He took, she took my hour. Mother Mary. Carter. Mother Mary. Yeah, 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 right. Well, I, I got to try to play. Hey, Carol, <laughs> Carol, pick one. Put 
Okay, good, bye bye. Who sings the song, Ma, Ma, Ma? Ma, 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 Ma. Carla, the birds are eating it. You guys ready? It's that southern life. <laughs> you get to lay outside in the rain. <laughs> Imagine if we lived out here. Wouldn't this be the beautiful life to live? Right now, you would have had to dodge seven crackheads, four homeless people, two dogs, a pit bull, and a rockwaller. Look at this. This is called life. This is called living, baby. Enjoy this moment. They came outside. Ooh, it's so breezy out here, and I ain't bring no jacket like a fool listening to the kids, and I'm cold, cold. Look at them. They love just being able to get up and come outside. It's cold out here, Faith. Hey. Yeah, I having to talk about love. She look interested. <laughs> this is the best conversation she <laughs> ever heard. It, it look like y'all getting a lecture right now. This is how I be when I say I'm paying attention. And that phone's still. This is the best conversation she ever heard. I mean, I'm, I'm a housewife, hey. that's good that I can just... You ready to go? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. Michaela's the type of child that got to learn from her own mistakes. No, she don't work. <laughs> she had to run away from home to see that she in the best home she ever been in. Yeah. You got to let her learn. She one of them kids that you say the water hot, she got to put a hand and it lose a limb. You lose some skin. Yeah, because they took all these relationships. I asked them, did they think... You know when you're a kid, you can sing the last time. Like, oh, yeah. Well, some people Mom, do have not many a times. Yeah. You know, she's been around. I feel like wow. if you drag it, if you like put that title and like if but, you like say it, it's not gonna happen. But like, if but some people it, do have little, high school sweethearts. If you but just let it, no, you need to let it, babe. No, you talk. No, you need to let it be. Like, you can't just force it. You need to let it be. Let it happen if it happens. Right. Right. Uh, nothing in your box about love. Sure Go talk to Granny. No, thank you. She's been with Dan she for 97 years. Dan? I thought that was her brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you dirty I'm telling you. Oh, shit. I'm telling you. Look at this girl doing. Yeah, oh, right there. Right here. The oh, it feel good out here, right? Mm -hmm. It's about to be 70. It's the first day it felt good. Honestly, at least they took out the garbage, guys. Why, for those of you who um have houses, right? Why do they only take out the garbage? They don't take, like, I don't know what I'm asking, guys. Forget it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, if it's too full, they won't take it. Angel. Angel. Hey, Angel. If it's too full, they won't take it. It was nice today. They took everything because the lid wouldn't close. I'm about, to, I'm about to get a list of the motor along, yeah. You mowing the lawn, not me. <laughs> Alyssa, you mowing. Oh, Alyssa, can you do me one more favor? I water blow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you, look, put the water, turn the water on. I'm going to give you the dawn so you can clean oh. the window. Alyssa got too happy. <laughs> Alyssa, Alyssa, wait. Where did you bring? Damn. No. Hello. I almost fell. Now, oh, I took, I took too much. Yeah, I know you did. Oh, yeah, she getting the tattoo. I know. This going to be the cleanest windows in the world. See, down in the bottom, you all that poly one. So now we are at Sky Zone. I'm going to sneak off and I'm going to go shopping, but they don't know that yet. Come on, Cairo, pay attention. Uh, take that phone from him, babe. It's not the time for electronics. Look, are y'all ready to jumpy jump, jump, jump? Y'all going to do some back flips, some front flips, some side flips? I got him because he ain't paying no attention. Cairo, you ready to jump, jump? Let me tell y'all, if I explain to y'all how much the prices has changed within these last four years. Four years ago, this wasn't even called Sky Zone. It was called, I forgot, like Air or something, Drift, something like that. But they changed it to Sky Zone. When I tell you the prices skyrocket, it was almost $200 just for these kids to jump and play. Let's not talk about the food, the socks. Life can really change in a blink of an eye. So guys, <laughs> I told them that I was going to the bathroom. 
but I ran out. I'm trying to go to the Rosie store. Somebody DM me. They said, girl, before you leave Fairville, go to Rosie's. They got a bunch of deals in that store. And it's in this complex, girly pop. I seen it when we drove past. So I told, well, I thought I was busted. So I told them that I was going to the bathroom and I ran out the door. You can't get nothing done when you got these kids, bro. I appreciate New York City. Cause honestly, it's just different. Oh, Lord have mercy. And you could tell that um, Battle House, everything out here, because it's next to a big army base, everything, look, Army National Guard. It's just like, honestly, the discipline. I just feel like, oh, I don't know anyone. I don't know anyone who was raised by like parents who was in the army or military or whatever, but I'm pretty sure they was raised with a lot of discipline. And just thinking about it, I love it. Like, I freaking love it. And even though you could be raised with as much discipline in the world, don't mean you won't turn out to be shitty or do shitty things. You just sneak and do it. Hey. Okay, so we've made it. I hope they got a suitcase in here because I really do need another suitcase because I've been ODing. So the person in my DM said they have really, really cheap stuff in here. I'm going to let y'all know once we get up in here if it's some really, really cheap stuff. Oh, look at that little pool thing. It's so cute. I could get that for the kids. I'll tell y'all this right now. I don't want y'all sliding in my DMs recommending me anything else. This store was horrible. If I can compare it to anything, no, nope, it ain't even like the ABC store in New York City. Because even the ABC store got a little bit of something. First of all, $7.99 for these granny clothes. Like, this is really for, like, if you on your way to church and you do nothing but praise the Lord. And do you sit in the back and talk about people. Because there is nothing in here. That, and then it was overpriced, seven ninety nine for some leggings. Do you not know how good them five dollar leggings from Dollar Tree was? They was not sheer. I put all seven of my stomachs in it. It held it tight. It did not go down. When I tell you these about the best leggings, I went back and copped four more pair for five dollars, seven ninety nine. You want to give me these Capri Leopard Skin Leopard Printed Leggings? And I was confused, baby. They went from selling granny panties to sofas. And everything was overpriced. Okay, y'all. So, I just left. And the store was not giving nothing that it was supposed to have gave. But I met somebody. And they go, these people, bro. I belong in, like, Fayetteville. I don't belong in New York City. And everybody who meet me, they like, I don't mean a stereotype. But you're way too friendly to be from New York City. I'm this way. Like, I don't know if y'all notice even with my kids. Like, my kids not all that rough and tough even Michaela as, as much as she tried to be she's not my mom wasn't that person so she didn't raise me to be that way we're really sweet good people so we don't fit the whole New York City stigma but anyway she was talking to me and she was like I'm from Brooklyn I'm from the projects I just don't sound like it and I'm like so how did you end up here she's just like oh my mom been living here forever and I came back down here to live with my mom and I'm like so where would you rather be she like, I would rather be in New York because of the money. But far as my sanity, I would rather kind of be here. And it's like, mm, felt that deep in my soul. So I don't know if y'all even know or not. I'm a content creator and ask a content creator in Texas how much she get paid versus a content creator in New York City. We get paid based off our geographics as well. So I would be taking a huge downgrade but of course, everywhere you live, income to living ratio meets. So it makes sense. It'll be a little harder for me to accept coming from New York City only because I'm used to seeing money. Like, you you try to hire somebody in New York City and tell them I'm giving you $24 an hour. What's that? <laughs> that ain't nobody. So out here when they like, oh, $10 an hour. Well, just, just give me a cotton field in because you think I'm a slave. You try to make me work for free. It, it's a mind over matter thing but still yet yeah, and still i choose here over anything bro said like she said her sanity sanity is what really really matters and when you get old enough and mature enough you'll learn that you're gonna choose your sanity over any and everything i, I swear on everything you're gonna choose your sanity over a job over a relationship over every single thing so I think the first thing for me is to self-sustain. I only always say Fairville, Fairville, North Carolina, because this is the only place I've ever been. 
my mom is gone. I don't have a support system. The only thing I was considering really like doing in life was moving by my brother. Only because it's not just my brother. It's my brother, his wife, my niece, my nephew. That's a family that I would want to partake in. And I'll be near my family. It's like, uh, what? Four hour drive from New York City is not unrealistic. I won't be so far from my sister. And housing is not that bad. He live in Binghamton. And I think that's the hood too. But everybody from New York City live in Binghamton. I'm not qualified to speak on it. I don't know nothing about Binghamton. I don't know. All I know is every black person from New York City is moving to Delaware County and Binghamton and different parts of Pennsylvania. I, Jasmine can't speak on it because I'm not qualified. Ain't been there. Don't know nothing about it. Okay. But I did look on Zillow at some places down there. They was ran down like an MF. But they was cheap, but they was really ran down. Oh, God going to continue to guide me up. This is exactly what I get for sneaking off. Came back. Faith told me she got a bump on her head. Caught her holding ice on the head. And they tried to tell me this is what happened. Lord have mercy. This is what I get. This is exactly what I get for being sneaky and trying to run off and go Let to the store. Let me tell you something before, this, before I end this vlog. And I would say no shade, no tea. Or shade, or tea. Certain situations is just like a life lesson for me. You understand? <laughs> and every situation is such a blessing because I'm learning. I'm not moving with not near soul until I got myself 110% together. Do you understand me? And I don't mean just like I can sustain. I mean like I can sustain by myself. It's said person was to, to go about their way or whatever may happen. Because one thing about it, codependency is something else. I'm never going to put myself in a situation where somebody can tell me no. Or they don't feel like it. Or they don't want to. Or they don't have to. I'm not doing it. So before I move, I'm going to make sure I put myself into a position where if this person walk away i could pay all my bills and sustain by myself if this person get tired and don't want to do it i could pay all my bills and sustain by myself this person decide to leave me i could pay all my bills and sustain by myself do you hear me i hope you hear where i'm coming from right i will never move to a place where i can't drive where i don't have a license where i don't have my own car where i don't have my own income i will never put myself in a position where I have to depend on any soul other than myself because I'd be damned if you tell me no. Until next time, family. Jazzy and family. J Jazzy and family. Jazzy and family. Jazzy and family. I want to welcome you in my life. Come over to my channel and subscribe. All we do is have a good time. All we do is spread those good vibes. Yeah. Jazzy and family. Jazzy and family Jazzy and family